Good evening everyone, it's your boy David Fan here, aka McGinney Fat Fat. Tonight I'm coming to you guys from Da Nang, Vietnam. Guys, we are currently at Cha Dam. I don't really know what that says. Sung Cha, I don't really know, can't speak. I can't read, I can speak, but I can't read. Guys, a uh, bunch of vendors, I came out here last night, I had lobster, I had grilled seafood, uh, I had ice cream, I had sugar cane, I had coconut, and some soda and water. So I came back tonight with full gear, I made a promise to some people I would go shoot. Uh, I ate a lobster last night that literally blew my mind. So I'm coming back because it ranked one of the top five best dishes I've had in the world. I've eaten at three star, two star, one star Michelin stars in New York City, and that hits as one of the top best things I've eaten in the last three years, where I've eaten over a thousand restaurants in the last three years. Woo! All right, guys, maybe we're gonna go find another lobster. Maybe some uh, bun sale, bun uh, cock or something. And uh, some uh, sugar cane, the new man. Oh, dang, let's go, guys. Y'all know what to do. Let's eat. Soju draft beer. Oh, this looks like Taiyaki. Taiyaki from uh, Japan. Here it says we got bun sale, bun kan bung cha. It says, I think that's what it says. Check it out, check it out, guys. This is a Vietnamese style crepe. It's called a bun sale. And these are little mini pancakes versions of that stuff. You can top it with seafood. We have to top it with pork. We can top it with an egg, it seems. And they wrap it up in the veggies. And here they also have them being uh, made right there as we speak. They, they put it in a pan they, and it, go, it turns golden crispy. You guys can add shrimp, uh, pork, and uh, I think bean sprouts are the normal serve. Oh, to my left here, guys, they have seafood. This is that lobster I ate last night. I ate at a different vendor last night, but that sauce that they put on there with the cheese and the scallion oil, they cooked that thing to perfection. And I'll tell you, it's one of the best things I've ever eaten in this life. I'm sorry. Guys. <laughs> Guys, this is the vendor I ate at last night right here. This young lady speaks, I swear, she spoke four different languages last night, guys. <laughs> She's a little shy, but I swear she spoke four different languages. She sold me this $400,000 combo last night. We had two lobsters, uh, river prawns, uh, scallops, and octopus. But I don't eat octopus, so I, I swapped it out for uh, scallops last night, guys. Check it out, check it out. She serves morning glory. She serves seafood, any style you want. She serves scallops, octopus, grilled, shrimp grilled. Oh, my God. Check it out, check it out. Guys, I'm speaking too much. I need to go find something to drink. Come on, we're going to go find some sugar cane. Oh, there are so many options out here tonight, guys. What do I do? What do I do? Do I get sugar cane? <laughs> hello, hello. Do I get sugar cane? Do I get coconut? Do I get beer? <laughs> oh, this is my friend from last night, guys. I told this man I'll come back, and uh, he, he, as soon as he spotted me, guys. <sighs> you same, same? Same, same? You want me to buy that again? Maybe. We're gonna go find some McMahon? Let's roll. Huh? Only meal, though. Only meal, though. Okay, okay, okay. McMahon? New go. Okay. Both go. All right, guys, we're going to watch as she presses the fresh sugar cane right out of the machine for us. $20,000, guys, 20,000 Vietnam dollars. That, equi that equivalates to less than one buck in the United States. Wow, look at that sugar cane go. And it's fresh squeezed. Look at that. Wait, look at that. It's squeezing out from one side to the other. And then she puts it in a nice icy cup for us. Is it coming out the other side? The sugar. Go into it. Oh, as you guys can see, as she pushes this through, it squeezes the sugar cane and it comes out of this spout and into this cup. 
and she's gonna fill up the spout with ice. I mean, she's gonna fill up me a large pitcher with ice. She's trying to sell me a second cup, guys, but I probably will dry and drink a second one in like two seconds. Alright guys, usually I'm a fan of just straight sugar cane, but she added a kumquat to it. So it added a little sweetness of an orange and a little tanginess of a citrus. So it's not just straight up sugar cane, but it adds a heightened flavors. It's good, but I still like the pure sugar cane, so we're gonna get another one in a little bit. Let's go. Still haven't decided what I'm getting just yet. I'm thinking that bun, the bun kang, the bun tail, maybe uh, some grilled lobsters tonight. And oh, I'm just looking for some snails. We're definitely gonna do that. Does my cameraman want another potato stick? No, I'm good tonight. No potato stick tonight. Here we have grilled octopus tentacles, guys. Ginormous. Come check this lady out. These are ginormous tentacles, guys. They're the size of my palm. And my hand's nine inches big. Wow, check out her station. She's got, uh, what are, what are you called? Oh, so it's a rice paper grilled, guys. Oh, that's new to me, that's new to me, guys. Yeah, I got a duck in this market. I'm like 6'4". I'm not made in this world. Oh, did we see snails? Oh, guys, here's a snail station. Some, uh, some mollusks. Here they have snails, uh, little snails, big snails, even fatter snails, clams, scallops, uh, blood suckles, cockles, blood cockles, not suckles. That looks like... That looks like lemongrass, I think. That's not lemongrass, that's lemon. That's like snails, water snails, or whatever that is. But we'll be back, guys. Hi, what happened? Why? <laughs> <laughs> so I just got pulled in, but guys, uh, they on you. So we're gonna go. F so they have grilled stations, grilled meats, grilled skews out here, guys. Another side is the same as, same as. Oh, last night we came here and my cameraman got rolled ice cream last night. Was it good, boss? Yeah, it was good. Was it like U.S. quality? Yeah, yeah a little bit different. A little bit different <laughs> means it's not the same. It's not, not as, same. it's not as creamy, guys. Check it, check it. Ah, uh, do that. <laughs> you see that? You that? Okay. Alright guys, so uh, I just made a circle around this market and I think we're going to go with some snails, we're going to go with the bun sale, and we're going to go find some lobsters. Let's go. Uh, after I eat. Uh, lobsters, I want snails. <laughs> Alright guys, as I told you guys five minutes ago, that lobster that she served me was one of the best things I've eaten in the last three years. Like I mentioned, I've been at a, over a thousand restaurants in the last three years and I found the best lobster on a street market 
in Da Nang, Vietnam. Let's go. Đi hai người dùng combo 800 là ngon anh ạ. Hai luôn tôm lớn là 800 ngon nè. Em nướng 200 thêm đi dĩa hầu nướng 8 con nữa, vừa lẩu nướng tôm to chắc được. Nó không bằng lại mà. Dĩa hầu lọc sốt. Very good. Red no red no money. Okay. Yeah, bán sao lại anh muốn mua tôm hùm nữa. Dạ được, tôm hùm không này đây chừng này là một ký rồi. Là hai hai con rồi. Còn không anh lựa đi, rồi em đăng ký cho anh cũng được. Mua lại không được. Tùy ý anh nữa. Ăn lửa lại đi. Nhìn nhìn dạ, hai, con hai con 500 đi. Dạ. Anh ăn sò đi cũng không? Sò đi được không? Nó hơi nhỏ. Dạ thôi làm cho mình tặng thêm cho mình 8 con. Cảm ơn em Ông bò 6 con ấy Này đóng con Đấy, đây hai con mới cho anh đó em ơi Đó là đóng bắt rồi đi nào Alright guys, so I just took those two lobsters right there As you guys can see Không, bây giờ anh làm hai con đi đi She had it price listed at 500,000 500,000, if I convert that for you guys Give or take 20 bucks if I converted that If I convert that for you guys, that's 20 dollars US Guys, twenty dollars U.S. I can't even eat McDonald's in U.S. for twenty dollars these days. Do you guys understand that? <laughs> a lobster dinner will cost us fifty dollars easy, and that thing weighs a pound. Woo, guys! I am sweating. This market is hot. It is very hot. But uh, it's very hot. I don't got my towel. My hair. I was supposed to get my hair cut today. Guys, didn't didn't happen either. Rain. I went to Banah Hills and never made it to the haircut. Never got my haircut. Yeah. Alright guys, so we're gonna eat these lobsters and then we're gonna film and then we're gonna go eat something else. Cause these lobsters are that good. I gotta, I gotta eat them again, guys. Alright guys, so I ordered the lobsters. Uh, it's gonna take a minute, like maybe 20 minutes and this meat, I just finished my sugar cane already. But you know, when in Vietnam, you gotta drink a beer. Come on, we can't not, not drink a beer. Y'all want that carbonation, all right? Y'all don't want that in your stomach. You want it to bubble up. You want that head. Mm. Tastes like water. <laughs> Guys, let me tell you something, all right? That is not Heineken. That is not Corona. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm going to give my God ever. They didn't go out. I'm going to make them Okay. So guys, this lady just tried to offer me some chicken wings and french fries. I had to tell her girlfriend I eat that stuff on a normal on a daily. This is why I'm so big. <laughs> but let me go back to my beer, guys. That's no Heineken. That's now no Corona. No anything. It tastes less than a Bud, Li Bud Light because it's so light in flavor. Uh, it almost tastes as if it's a flavored water. <laughs> it's not that good. But I'm gonna drink it though, cause it's hot as hell here. What's it called? Huh? What's the beer called? My bear? It's a tiger. It's a lager, tiger beer. Makes you strong like a tiger. Uh, it's like drinking water out here, but it, it's you know, it's so hot. Ooh. Here, guys, we have 
scallops. This was a courtesy gift from the owner herself. She gifted me eight scallops. They were kind of good yesterday. Oh, but they're, they're, they're smaller than what McGee Fat Fat usually eats. You guys know we eat for Japan Hokkaido scallops. You guys know what I'm talking about? So these are fresh. They're very, she grilled them. They're topped with scallion oil, peanuts, and uh, maybe some sauce. So they're kind of cool. Here we're gonna dip it with some uh, uh, sweet dipping chili sauce that she offered us for seafood. Mmm. Mm. That's good. It has such a clean flavor. It has a chew, uh, like a soft bounciness. Just cooked perfectly so the scallops aren't hard. They're smooth, they're tender, and they just melt in your mouth instead of chomping, chomping, chomping like a rubbery rubber band. Let's eat a couple more, guys. Let's peep that, peep that. It's smaller than what I'm used to, so we're going to double up here. Oh, check that out, check that out. Mm. They cooked that on a charcoal grill, so it has just enough bite and charcoal taste to it. Wow, so it adds a smokiness. It mixes in with the scallion oil and the peanuts. It just comes through in a smooth, clean finish. <laughs> Such a clean scallop flavor. Usually I don't get scallops like this. It tastes more like it's clean, it's sweet, but how's you know it's from the ocean? But this this is maybe I guess they're smaller scallops, so they taste like that. I'm not really sure. But they're kind of cool. Mm. But these scallops definitely par pair well on a night like this in Da Nang, where it's like not too hot, but it's humid. So I'm not sweating as I was the last couple of days because we did get a little rain and pair it with a nice cold beer. Can't get better than this, guys. Life is that good. Guys, so when my lobster comes out, I'm gonna pair it with sugar cane. <laughs> or water. I'm just sitting here, you know, finishing my beer, drinking my sugar cane. And the owners of that shop that I ordered the lobster came out and offered us morning glory for free on the house, guys. Check it out, check it out. Wow. I've eaten morning glory at home in the, in the States at restaurants in the States. Uh, I might have to say, this looks pretty good right now. Cool, I'm just gonna pick these bad boys up. So it looks like there's morning glory. Well, obviously it's morning glory dish. It's uh, garlic, it's got some chilies. Oh, it's very vibrant. Uh, I've never seen Morning Glory cook so pretty. I'm not gonna lie, because my mama cooks some Morning Glory and it's ugly. It just looks like it's wilted, but like this still has a hold, a shape. Like you can see the actual Morning Glory. Like it hasn't been wilted. Like it's, it's like, a, like an actual leafy green left. Let's give it a taste, guys. Oh, mm. Oh, interesting. So they have salt. I don't think I taste fish sauce. I taste garlic, I taste chili. Uh, the Morning Glory is actually very soft the way that she cooked it. It's, when, my, when I cook it at home, the Morning Glory becomes like a tight, a stringy, not a stringy, but like a, like a tough fibrous piece of vegetable. Like this is like, oh, this is like, just kind of melting my mouth. It's very light flavor. It, like she just, I don't know what they did over there. Ooh, but the flavors are like very clean, so you can taste the actual veggies. Let me get another bite, guys. Mm. 
It's very clean. The garlic enhances the flavor, the salt. And she, oh, I, I still don't understand how. That thing is so tender. Because that, that literally just melts in my mouth. I, have, I, I can't pinpoint the flavors. It's so fresh and refreshing what they did there. I just, I just can't pin it. I don't know. But it's pretty good though. That's very good morning glory actually. But I, got, I came here for the uh, lobsters guys. Check it out, check it out though. I came here for the lobsters. They're vibrant green though. Look at it, it's pretty. Definitely prettier than what I eat when I make at home. I still don't know what they did here. Mm. Now let's make some noise, Lewis. Now we're gonna make some noise. Check it out, check it out, guys. The main, the main entree, the, fun, the center of the universe here in the seafood world, guys. Woo! The main event just came out. Guys, last night I ate. I ate this expecting just lobster. Just lobster, guys. I just expected lobster. Nothing cool, nothing fancy. She, I asked the young lady what this was, and she said it was just cheese and scallion oil. And I was like, oh, all right, I know what cheese tastes like. I know what scallion oil tastes like. But when I took a bite of that lobster, it changed everything because it went from lobster to top five. And I texted my brother last night and I said, Dennis, I do not know if that goes down as number one beating Oki Boru for the number one bite I've eaten ever. So right now I said, well, right now I'm about to taste it. I'll tell you all again, because yesterday I told him, I said, I'm coming back tonight and I will taste it. And if it hits like that last night it did, it's going down as the number one bite I've ever tasted. Let's go, guys. These are big, heavy ones. Oh, they're filled with... Look, they, they, they boiled this to cook through and then they grilled it to perfection with the cheese. They call it a fomai and scallion oil. They take that word from the French, guys. Oh, we're picking this bad boy up. Look at this. Peep this, peep this, guys. This is the size of my head. Check that out, check that out. <laughs> Y'all know what to do. <laughs> Let's eat. All right, all right, guys. She looks like, is it brighter? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, up it's bright. Okay. Oh, that lobster came out in one swoop, guys. Watch, watch. Oh, oh, this is the money bite. If I take this bite and it's that good again, it's gonna be complete silence. This whole market is watching right now. It's gonna be complete silence. I know what cheese tastes like. I know what scallion oil tastes like. But that was so hot. Now I got all the flavors. One more bite, one more bite, guys. One more bite, one more bite, one more bite. <laughs> one more bite, guys. One more bite. Ooh. Oh, man. Guys, this is a contender for the number one spot of all time. So we got we got to make sure it's legit, guys. We got to make sure. We got to make sure. Mmm. 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 One more, one more, one more. Can't be making, we can't be making judgment calls on one bite, guys. We gotta, we gotta eat more than one.
right, guys. Let me describe that to you guys. It's creamy. It's cheesy. It's oily. It's nutty. It's smoky. It's herby from the scallion oil. Ooh. Guys, I vow to never lie to my fans. If it sucks, I'm telling you it tastes... If it's good, I'm telling you it's good. And that has now officially moved into the number one spot in McGiddy Fat Fat's top five list. I, it just kicked out Oki, Oki Boru to number two in New York City. I love that ramen. That, tang, that Tangtori ramen from Oki Boru where they create that creamy, I'm talking creamy, luscious Tangtori broth from a chicken bones and the pork bones and they create this luscious sauce to go with my ramen, the soup broth, I mean, sorry. And every time anyone asks me which one is the best thing I've ever eaten, it's that ramen bowl. But now I'm gonna restate, we're moving this lobster with the cheese and the scallion oil in Da Nang at the local street market, at the night market, as the number one spot I've ever eaten. Ooh, guys, we're gonna take this last bite and just savor it. Because tomorrow morning, I'm flying to Hanoi. And then from there, we're going to Saigon. And then we go from Saigon, catching another flight from there to Fuwuk. And then I fly back to Saigon, tour. That is putting me and my feet in pain. <laughs> Come here. Whew. Guys, you guys just witnessed history in McGiddy Fat Fat there. That lobster is the reason why I came back to this night market tonight because I wanted to make sure I savor that one more time to commit if that was the number one bite of all time in, the, in my rankings right now. And certainly, it has beaten Okiboro, like I mentioned. So that lobster, for less than 20 bucks, guys, I was able to eat two giant lobsters. Whew. The flavor is so good, so smoky, smoked, cheesy, so buttery, so rich, and herb flavored. That was good. So if you guys enjoyed that video, please hit that like button for me. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment below, and let me know what y'all think of the Da Nang uh, night market out here, guys. And lastly, don't forget to hit that bell notification icon up here somewhere. We'll see you in my next video. Is. Thanks, guys. Uh, guys, meet some locals out here. <laughs> oh, look at it, look at it. <laughs> subscribe, uh. <laughs> Subscribe. Subscribe. Game now. <laughs> All right, let's go. We got the fans out here now. Fell off. Pulled off my hair. Just running. Just running while we're walking. Yeah, gotta go. Chào bà hả? Mấy người già đi dường quá hay sao? Anh người Việt Nam à? Hả? Anh người Việt Nam à? Người Việt Nam, anh đẻ ở Mỹ Anh đi Nó hả? Nó cũng đẻ ở Mỹ Anh làm gì tức cơ à? Dạ, dạ You want juice? Is this Không. one? Is it this one or the next one? Or where it is? I told her we come back and get juice. I'll get another sugar cane before we leave. How long your girl go, bro? She, I don't give a fuck. There's plenty of girls. That was your girl. <laughs> she put her on camera. Yeah, she's already on camera. She's gonna be on eye candy. What do you want by you? Huh? I'm gonna get one by you. I'm gonna get one by you. I'm gonna get one by you. I said. I said, do you want to go to the U.S.? She said, she don't want to go. Em dẹp chưa hay còn nấu nữa? Dạ, em dẹp chưa anh? 
What do you want? I'm, I'm good right now. You don't want your press juice? Uh, no, I'm good right now. We're leaving. Uh, we're leaving. Uh, fruit. What is it? Passion fruit? fruit? Like pineapple or something. Like a mix. Passion fruit. Then you eat the Okay. Then you move it. Uh huh. Uh, you want to leave? Uh, we'll take it to go? Or you want to sit? Take it to go. Okay. Take it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.